Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play Peg as recorded by Steely Dan. Now this is a brilliant song that has one of the most common Steely Dan chords in it. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. There's four parts, but keep this in mind that these are advanced chords and this is advanced harmony. It's almost like playing a jazz standard, but the brilliant part for me with Steely Dan was they were able to take all this incredible music and amazing chord changes, but then write a pop song that people could just sing along with. And I think that there's very few artists that could actually pull this off. People like Stevie Wonder would be another person who could do it. But let's get straight into it here. We're gonna start off with the intro progression. Now this is just a pattern. It starts on a G major nine. And I'm playing, starting on the fifth string, 10, nine, 11, 10. These are gonna be whole notes. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. And we'll walk it down. Okay, so all this is is a pattern. We're starting on that G major nine. And then what you do is you move these two fingers down one fret. So keep those there, your middle and your index. And then these two fingers actually trade strings. So you should end up on an F sharp seven, sharp nine. So it's gonna be nine, eight, nine, 10. And then we repeat that pattern down two frets. Walk it all the way down. So it's G major nine, F sharp seven, sharp nine, F major nine, E7 sharp 9, E flat major 9, D7 sharp 9. Then we kick into this groove, we go. And this is a great jam here. We're gonna start out, so kind of some different voicings here. C major 7 is how I play this. So I'm playing the note C there on the fifth fret of the third string. Then I grab the B on the fourth fret of the third string, E on the second string, fifth fret, and then G on the first string, third fret. Now I'm muting, of course, the fourth and sixth strings. Then here's this chord. This is a tricky chord to name, and as I mentioned, Steely Dan uses this chord all the time. I'm playing the second fret of the fifth string, second fret of the third string, then third fret of the second string, and third fret of the first string. See here, the way I think about this is I've got a G chord here. I've got the notes G, B, and D, and then I've got the A added in. So I call it a G add nine, or you could call it a G plus two over B. So it's C major seven to G add nine over B. And that functions, we're in the key of G, it, it's kind of like a four to a one. So all together, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Keep copy and pasting it down two frets at a time, and then the groove. Now there, I'm playing this rhythm, one E and a. So I'm playing on the downbeat and then the last 16th note of beat one. One E and a, two, and. Then on the and a two, I change chords. So that's the intro and I'm gonna break down the rest of the song, but before we get into it, if you're new, I have a gift for you. Let me ask you, have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? I know for me, I did for way too long, and it wasn't until I stumbled across a method and created this method that helped me be able to just get my guitar in tune right away without a tuner. And so what I did was write it down in just a simple five-step process on a PDF guide. I wanna give it to you completely for free. It's very didactic. It's just here, step one, step two through five, and it shows you how you can immediately start improving your ear 
and basically fix this problem. That's the goal is I want you to be able to have a guitar that's out of tune, grab it and get it in tune right away without a tuner. You're tuning the guitar to itself. And this isn't the typical method that you'll see. In fact, I explain in the PDF, I talk about the typical ways and then I show you why the way that I do it is better. You're not gonna see this out there anywhere. I wanna give it to you completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning and you can download it right there as my gift to you and always get your guitar right in tune. All right, so after this intro section, then we get into basically a 12 bar blues with those chord changes I was just showing you. So let me explain. So we start on that C major seven and we go to the G add nine over B and we actually play four bars of that figure. And then we actually take it up to the four chord. And then back down. So it's actually a blues. And this is one of the things that I loved about Steely Dan is that they were always reharmonizing 12 bar blues progressions. And that doesn't sound anything like a blues where you would, you know, might do something like that. But here we got these cool jazz changes, we play it four times here on C, then go up to F major seven, which is eight, nine, 10, eight, to C add nine over E, that's seven, seven, eight, eight, and then back down. And it's really, it's if you're in the key of G, that would be the one chord here, and then the four chord here. Then when we get to the last four bars, we would bring in the five down to the four, down to the one, just like a typical 12 bar blues. And the way Steely Dan does it in this song is. Genius, I love that. So I brought in G major seven. So that's 10, 11, 12, 10 to nine, nine, 10, 10. And then the four chord back to one. Then it goes again. So here's the entire verse, and this is where the lyrics come in. I like your picture. Here it is. One, two, three, four. Four times. Up to the four chord. Back to the one chord. Five chord, four chord, and back home to one. From there, we move on to the chorus, and the chorus actually starts on the same progression, but we're gonna mix it up on the second half of it, and this is where they sing peg. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four. All right, here we're starting on that C major seven to the G add nine over B. Then we go to A minor 11. This is the fifth fret of the low E, skip the fifth string and then go five, five, three. Same rhythm, this time move it up to like a E seven sus four. So that's basically just open and open low E, you could mute the fifth string, then seven, seven, five, or you could play it. You get this parallel sound there. It's beautiful. Then from there, we change it up here. We're gonna go up to So good, now this gets a little complicated here. We've got a A, we've got basically this chord. That same chord that we were playing in, in the blues figure. Here we're doing it with an A with a C sharp in the bass. So you could, it's basically this. You could do it here with the thumb, nine, skip the fifth string, then nine, nine, 10. 
and then to C6, this is the eighth fret, the low E string, then mute the fifth string, 10, 9, 10. Then you go to a G6, which is 10, 9, 9, 8, starting on the fifth string, and then F sharp 7, 9, 8, 9, 7. So that would be like this. Now you could just play this. If you want an easier part or with the bass notes. Then B minor seven. You do that with the thumb a lot of times. Seven, mute the fifth string, seven, seven, seven. E7 sharp nine. It's from the intro, right? And then A minor seven. Here's another chord Steely Dan would use all the time. D or it's a C triad with a D in the bass. So five on the fifth string, mute the fourth string, five, five, three. So and then back to the figure. So here's the entire chorus played as one piece. Again, the lyric cue here is peg. One, two, three, four. And back. So that's the chorus. Now there is one other little interlude that comes in, and this is just a short little phrase. It's gonna go like this. And then that leads us actually back to the intro to restart, just like how we kicked off the song. So what I played here was F sharp minor seven. So that, that's a tricky chord there. Nine, seven, six, five, just on those middle strings. You could really play any do F sharp minor seven like that if that's easier, but this kind of has a great sound like the recording. So that's F sharp minor seven to B minor seven to E minor seven to B minor seven to C major seven. Like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. To the top. So take your time with those four main sections and one of the things that I think is so cool to remember about this song is it's really that verse is just a 12 bar blues but the harmony is taken to the moon so there is just some incredible chord changes in there that are not common to the blues. So rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear and remember that even after you get all of this down if you're nailing the rhythms and the chords but you're not in tune, it's a bummer. So make sure to grab my five step secret tuning method. You're not gonna see this out there anywhere and it's basically what cured the problem for me of not being able to get my guitar in tune without a tuner. I wrote it out in just five simple steps. You can follow them and start implementing them and you'll always be able to get your guitar right in tune. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning and you can download it right there as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this one next.